Hey guys. guys, welcome back to another video with Edith and Ricardo. But as you guys can tell, today we have a whole different setup mm -hmm. because it's more of a podcast podcast styled video. We've done one video like this before. Okay, that is not gonna work. Wait. What? Your chair is screeching so You're hitting the table. It's a It's your chair. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just like just try not to move. Okay. <laughs> All they can hear in the intro is like <laughs> 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 you were trying to blame me. I thought it was because I hear the table, but I don't really hear the squeak on this chair, but I hear it now. <laughs> Anyways, we've done a video like this. Babe. It's going to be so hard. No. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> I heard it again. <laughs> we've, I hope you guys can't hear the squeak of the chair. I'm really hoping that you guys can't, but... Um, we did a video like this when we talked about Laughlin and like a whole bunch of things that happened to us like when we tried to get the Oh my hotel. gosh, I remember. Yeah, this was a couple months ago. Yeah, it was last year, but we haven't done another video like that because why? Why haven't we? I don't know. I guess we've just like got caught up in like regular traveling videos. and like regular videos yeah. and stuff like that. But I am a yip yapper. Is that what it is called? A yapper. yapper. I'm a yapper. You're a yapper. Like I can talk and talk and talk and go in circles and talk again. But and repeat the same thing again. Yes, but now I actually have an excuse to yap, baby. Yep. Because there's been a lot of you guys asking how we booked the volcano, how we did the volcano, what what did we use to get around like you guys were asking so many questions so this is why we're doing the podcast is to answer all your guys' questions yeah so if you aren't a regular viewer of ours which i there probably won't be a lot of yeah new viewers because like podcasts normally it's like your audience that wants mm -hmm. to come see like a little bit more raw you and yeah. like more detailed experiences but if you are new here we go um ricardo and i started the 2020 four i was gonna say 2023 girl you're gonna be a year behind i know i feel like ever since like, i stopped going to school each year that passes by like in my head like it's still 2020 which was the last year I, like i officially went to school yeah 2020 like in my head it's still 2020 anyways um we started the year 2024 like super eager to ow out to their ears i'm so sorry Ow, my nail though are you okay yeah you gotta stick right, right in the middle huh yeah um, ready to travel, ready to like kick some butt pretty much. Mm -hmm. And we actually have been like going. Oh, yeah, that's it's me. the table. That's me. Let me go a little bit forward. There you go. It's because you already meant the dent in the, in the carpet. So, like, the wheels are going to go oh up or just fall back in. So many technical difficulties. Oh, I feel professional with this, though. <laughs> professional with <laughs> <laughs> um, We actually have been like been doing what we said we were gonna do and we have been like doing so many more adventures yeah. going out of our comfort zone trying new things out and the biggest thing that we have done this year which is like what we're trying to do right now is kind of like a quarter recap because that's what i told myself like we were gonna work in like three month intervals i think it was 12 week yeah 12 week intervals yeah, and it's yeah. pretty much already like been a little bit past that it's march 18th the day that we're filming this and um we i think first quarter has been going great baby what would you I, say it has been like mind-blowing yeah. because of everything we've done i mean the time is going by really really it fast is. it's freaking flying but like when i look back at the videos that we've made it's like we're making dents like we were doing do i still we have the tomato sauce no, no, oh down. my god i just remembered i'm so sorry i cut you off but we ate blaze pizza right before this and i remember when we were getting in the car <laughs> with i was like you got a big ass tomato thing in your in your big teeth no, and I just remembered, oh my god, I didn't take it off. No, it's good. So I'm good? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what I was saying, like, the time is going by so, so fast. But I look back at the videos that we've made so far. It's not many, many. But the videos that we have made that are well edited, we're putting a lot of time into the editing. Like, we're trying to film the videos a little bit, like, in a different style, which I think we found it. Yeah. Um, And just, like, the volcano, the Death Valley... I think we, we did so something else. So those are the two things that we've done this year, like the main things. The major things. We've traveled to Guatemala, uh -huh. and we also started like what we hope to continue, which is like car camping. Yeah. We initially wanted to do like more of van life, but realistically, like our budget is not there. Yeah. And that's the reason why we did want to also film it, because I know it's not traditional to be like camping on your small sedan car. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what? We're the ones that are going to do that and make it a little bit more popular because 
Van life is really popular nowadays, yeah, it but it's is. also not something that anybody can do. And I know a lot of people in the comments, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I know a lot of people in the comments in that video were like, you guys need an SUV so you guys are more comfortable and yeah. stuff like that. And yes, it would be ideal to have an SUV, but like that's the whole reason why we like did it in our car. It's because like we don't have an SUV, you know? Yeah. Like it's what we're trying to like do fun stuff with what we have right yeah. now and that's what we had but anyways let's take it back to the beginning of the year i am so glad like ricardo was saying like we have been putting so much work into the videos this year and so far we've only been posting once a week it's what's doable for us yeah. right now just because we don't have an editor we have our well we have our couples channel and then mm -hmm. i also have my channel ricardo i will say like i give you so much props for like the video editing because literally the all the videos you guys see for our channel are i think it was just like a gust of wind oh my gosh i thought that was an earthquake i, didn't I know I was like... <laughs> earthquake on camera <laughs> um yeah ricardo has been editing those videos like all of those videos he edits for us and then when he's done with them we'll both go together and add the music and yeah. like all of the finishing touching like uh, what all the finishing <laughs> touches it's your queen here. so if you edit. want it like step by step i'll do like one day would be just cutting from beginning to end and then the next day will be my editing which would be memes text um just like Pretty much anything. all the final yeah, details. Yeah, all the final for you. details. And then the third day will or, be. Or that same day after you yeah, do that. Yeah, it'll be either the same. It depends on how I feel because sometimes I do get headaches and I'm just like, I can't look at a computer anymore. And if it, that's the case, we'll go on to the third day with Edith. We'll add the music and then we'll just watch the whole thing all over again. To like, we'll do the intro yeah. because, like, for the, the intro is like one of the things that I'm very, very picky about. Yeah. Like, he won't do it. Normally, you won't do it, no. but you have an idea sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But normally, like for the volcano video, like I already had like an idea exactly what I wanted the intro to look like. I had it in my head, like I want mm -hmm. this and this, and then I already had a song picked out too. Yeah, we had it for like a week. Yeah, I already have seen it. Like you can like envision things with the songs, mm -hmm. with the song. You're like, okay, it's gonna be this, and then this, and then the beat drops, and then it'll be like the yeah. volcano erupting. Um, but yeah, that's how it goes. Like I do like more of like the very aesthetic stuff. I guess you could say Ricardo does a little bit more like the funny stuff yeah. and like crops and zoom ins and stuff like that mm. but yes baby all of that is to say that i give you props for like doing all of that for us like you've been doing such a great job this year that's what we really wanted to start the year off doing and i really hope you guys like have been enjoying it as well i have seen some comments but i would love this podcast to be like a lot of feedback on everything yes, and please. like if you guys haven't been liking something like please let us know like give us constructive criticism please yeah like i've been going to, i've been recently just going live on tiktok a lot and i'll ask you guys like did you guys like the video what did you guys like about it what didn't you guys like about it and like everybody's loving it right now and i'm so happy because like it, it takes time for these videos to be filmed edited and like posted like last year i remember we would like finish a video and like we'd be rushing to like post it like that day like mm -hmm. we had to post it that day and we would ricardo would like do a thumbnail and like, like it would be like fast. i mean like you would try your best and all yeah. but like it would not take you that long how long would it, it would take, take me you? like 20 minutes the, the most and like if you guys can tell this year we've been doing a little bit yeah. of like different thumbnails which in a way are a little bit like exaggerated mm -hmm. but i also think that it's a little bit more fun it and, is. and it for is. me like i've been like putting a lot of time into the thumbnails this year and it's been a time like when ricardo goes live i'll just like it'll be my yeah, escape i don't know how you do it you make the thumbnails look like if we gave pictures to somebody and we paid them to do the thumbnail. i'm so glad you say that because like i know that i'm not like the most skilled at it and i'm just learning how to mm -hmm. do it but like i really have been loving like the the end process and even when i'm doing it it's one of the things that like even when i'm editing sometimes like i don't love it all the time yeah. sometimes it depends on the video sometimes like i'm really into it but sometimes like oh like i have to edit you know yeah. but for the thumbnails like it's just something so new and like i i really have been trying my hardest that it's entertaining for me and yeah we really have been trying both of us we've been yeah. putting in like hard work to do better thumbnails do better videos and edit a Editing, lot better yeah. and it's just us like we don't have a team or anything mm -hmm. like that so hopefully crossing our fingers like one of these videos fucking goes viral and we could be better content out you well, know, more videos. that way we can do more content yeah. because as much as we wish we could do more content it's just unrealistic it takes a lot of time it's unrealistic to do like very highly edited and production videos mm -hmm. um and do that like just us like 
film mom edit them and then like plan them and also the budget a lot of the times yeah. is not it's, we don't have a big budget guys like <laughs> i know you guys think because we're youtubers we like have a big budget but yeah, we really don't we're really normal don't. people trying to like make it out here oh my gosh i'm so sorry for hitting the microphone but yes let's get into it that's yeah. been a big big like recap of the year because like i said this is like our first quarter recap and that's what's been going on first trip of the year which was guatemala and originally was supposed to be a trip only for a volcano hike that i saw on tiktok and i was like oh my gosh we need to do that ricardo and i have to do that we need to challenge ourselves and that's how the guatemala trip mm -hmm. even came out to be but originally it was just that and then we extended it to be like almost a week long and then got the other videos out and all of that but what a it was such a life learning experience that's what I, that that's my that's that would be if somebody would ask me how it was guatemala that's gonna be what i'm gonna say now like it was a life learning experience it really did shape us like it really shaped me at least yeah. a lot like i grew a lot from that experience and it was literally just like it's crazy to say because it was only like six days total but mm -hmm. i came out of that trip being like i feel like i grew up so much like you open your eyes about a lot of things and i also had a lot of experiences there like the hike and mm -hmm. the motorcycles thing if you guys yeah. saw the vlog you guys know exactly what i'm talking about like i was so scared to ride those motorcycles like in a foreign country like there's no like road signs like there is but like everybody just drives crazy it was like the <laughs> cobblestone roads I was so scared and I yeah. already don't really drive at home so that like made me grow so much as a person and then the booking experience too so should we start off with I that? I think we should start off with the booking like how we like started it so I think the way honestly I'm gonna give props to Edith because Edith booked everything mm -hmm. Edith does everything every time we need a she wants to go on a trip she does the research she like books everything in advance like if you want to go ATV right and she does it specifically for this day at this time the next day she has a perfect if you ever want to travel travel with Edith she has like an itinerary down she has like when to eat when to play when to like do all these activities but I give you so much props I don't know how you do it thank you baby like I, I'm just going for the ride if we got to do a road trip I'm just driving you know I'm just like we pull out the camera we're having fun but like like even the whole Death Valley stuff you planned all that out Thank you so much, first of all. But when I let you're saying that, it reminded me of a TikTok yesterday that I saw that somebody said that, oh no. It was well, amazing race. It was amazing race. Yeah, it was amazing race. Yeah. Um, The guy said that he was the, his his girlfriend was the planner, he was the doer, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah, I resonated yeah. a lot with, like, with that because I feel like you and I, you know how people say, like, opposites to track or whatever? Yeah. I feel like we are the, like, prime example of that because you and I are so different but like we connect mm. on that so much because you are like I'll tell you anything like there is not one thing I tell Ricardo like let's do this and he will say no to mm, yeah I'm like I'm down for anything he's down for yeah. anything like anything anything but then also like I'm the one that always plans everything yeah you know like I'm always like hey babe let's do this and you're like yes he'll never say no but he's always down to do it and mm -hmm. he's like it brings the vibes pretty yeah. much um so yeah the tick i mean the tiktok i saw the volcano on a tiktok yeah, and yeah. then i was like let's do it he said yes of course and so then i started researching everything mm -hmm. which i know that you say like you like give me props and all that stuff for the planning but genuinely like i'm not like the i'm just learning how to do it no i know but you did an amazing job for your first time doing something like this you like everything went to plan i tried really hard i spent like a whole week like researching mm -hmm. everything because i was so nervous i know how a lot of people say that guatemala is unsafe and i'm sure it has its unsafe parts and yeah. people and whatever but like that's everywhere and that's one of the biggest learning lessons that i feel like i learned was because i was really scared to go because of what everybody says when i would share it with people like they would be like well you're going to guatemala like that's so scary yeah like be and careful at first i was like uh like it might be unsafe but let's just do it and then when people started getting it like telling me like i started like getting into my own head which i remember like you seeing tiktoks like the bad places in guatemala like what's going on over there and I stuff was, like that i was i was getting into my head because yeah. i was like oh my god are people like really right like am i really like going into like a very unsafe place and like right before i left like i had a little bit of a meltdown because i was really scared everything just got to me because i was scared about that and then also i was so scared about the volcano hike because i was like am i gonna be able to make it and then i was just scared about i went out down a rabbit hole of watching tiktoks of the volcano explosion that happened like 2018 oh and like i had nightmares of like me being like hiking a volcano and then it erupting yeah i don't think you even told me about that until we were already over there yeah even after like, i think like a day after or two days after we actually hiked the volcano i had a dream that 
we were in Guatemala and I was with my parents and everything like we were like exploring and there was we were like in a plaza and then the volcano like, erupted that was like far away but it was such a big eruption that I got all the way to the plaza and I remember seeing the lava like just get to me get to me get to me I was right next to a like a building that was probably like the height of I don't know like a little bit taller than me and I wasn't able to like go up the building and like it just got to me and I died I've never died in any of my dreams <laughs> But that one, I just died, and like I remember feeling at peace. I'm like, okay, well, this is my end, and boom, I died. <laughs> I didn't feel any pain or anything. But then after, I teleported on top of the building. That's one thing about my dreams. I have lucid dreams, so they're really, really crazy and whack. But yeah, I was really scared because this is my first time doing it, and this is the reason why I feel like it's so, like I'm so passionate about talking about it. Yeah. yeah. Because it worked out for me like all of the research all of the planning everything it worked out so well for us Guatemala was so fun and spoiler alert it wasn't unsafe like no. everybody told me I'm sure it has like you know unsafe spots and people but like there's crime everywhere guys and like don't let people get into your head like just you know be safe don't be like out at night and like drunk and stuff like that but you know have fun travel yeah. the world and adventure everything yeah going back to like how we booked this so Edith saw the TikTok on the TikTok, right? Uh -huh. And, and then, after I did all of the research and stuff, like I, like I said, we first at first we're only gonna go hike the volcano. That was the plan. It was just the volcano. We were just gonna go hike the volcano and come back. Like that's yeah. what the video was gonna be about. That's what the challenge was gonna be about. But after doing the research, I realized that there was a very popular lake nearby that everybody went to. Like that was the most popular thing in Guatemala. It's called Lake Atitlan. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then from there, there wasn't just that lake. There was also little pueblitos mm -hmm. around it. So it's just not like, oh my God, it's a famous. It's not. It's like a, um, it's like a known lake. It's not just that. There was a. There's like I think seven different pueblitos or six different pueblitos. Mm -hmm. There was like a bunch of them. So they all had like their own. They're like little towns. Uh huh. They had their own little towns. They had their own little theme. And it was like we went to two of them. We only went to two of them. So yeah. Like Ricardo was saying, it's like lake, it's the lake in the middle, and what surrounds the lake is a lot of different cities. Or no, not cities. Somebody Volcanoes. corrected me. It's towns. It's little oh, towns. towns. So yeah, it's like pueblos. And um, they all have a different vibe. But through my research, I realized that this lake was like the most popular thing that mm -hmm. everybody went to Guatemala for. And I, that's not what we wanted to go to Guatemala for. But I was like, dude, we're already going to be there. Let's just freaking explore. Yeah. So we extended our trip from being like a couple of days to a week. Yeah. So it was a whole week long trip. And I pretty much looked for, I wanted everything to be affordable, guys. Like yeah. I really wanted to the, the trip to be as affordable as possible. Like we are on a budget and stuff. So I looked for hostels. And if you've never heard it's raining. I tried to look for hostels, and if oh. you don't know what a hostel is, it's pretty much maybe the chair, baby. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's um, an affordable place to stay. It's a hotel, pretty much. It, but the rooms, like, there's multiple people that can... It's kind of like a dorm room, I guess yeah. you could say. Like, there's bunk beds, and, like, you share it with other guests, and then you can also share, like, a kitchen with other guests. And... They also, I think most hostels also offer like private rooms, just like a hotel. Yeah. So at first, I was just gonna get a hostel for Ricardo and I because no, I couldn't. Yeah, we were. We I was just like, cause I think it's about ten to twenty bucks per person. Yeah. If you choose to do the hostel in Guatemala. Well, yeah, to sleep with the other people. Right. Um. But you also have to share a bathroom, and that's one thing that I I feel like I really need to learn how to use the bathroom. Word. Um without like being nervous i guess but like how will you ever not be nervous like I can't like I, I when i use a restroom i need my 10 15 minutes no and not even that but like i just feel like so embarrassed to like blow up <laughs> exactly like i need 10 15 minutes to use the restroom and then you need 10 15 minutes to air it out and like if someone's like not even that but like i don't know like what if they can hear you or yeah, like, like if you let a toot out like I'm a, if I if someone random goes in I'm a laugh. Like that's the same thing that happened in Death Valley. Like when we were using the restroom, when was it? Oh, when we went camp, it, the first night when we were camping there, and like. Oh my God! Yes, somebody in, was in there. We're in the, waiting for no, the restroom. In the morning. Okay, so in the morning. This is like another time, but like all right, we're already talking about it. I'll forget later if I don't talk about it right now. But we went 
to the restroom in mm -hmm. the morning the day after we had already camped so this was the first day that i had to use the restroom because i used the restroom before i left right the first day i, I usually take mine but i only use it one time for number two yeah okay so i had already used it day one we were good day two came around that's when i had to officially use a public restroom and there was like a couple different stalls and it was the morning so everybody else was doing their business and somebody was washing their teeth bro right there while i was like trying to take a shit and so i go into the stall there's two people next to me and i just sit and i'm like dude i swear i was about to like take a big ass fart i'm sorry <laughs> like, i was about to and i start clenching and i'm like bro i can't like i really couldn't i couldn't like i was so embarrassed and so i just like stood stood i stood up and i was like no you didn't should i try it again i tried it again i couldn't so i just left I, I pretended I had used it, you know, flush the toilet, no. wash my hands, and I left. Yes, you know this because then after this, we realized there was like single stall um, restaurants. Oh, it was there. It was there, yeah. Oh and then we, God. well, we had to walk to a different one, and there, that's when I blew that bitch up. But that first one, like, I couldn't, and so that's why I'm saying, like, I really need to learn how to use them because one, it, I won't like freaking explode my stomach because I had to wait so long. I literally almost shot myself, and two. I will I will save money because if we wouldn't have been super afraid about this, yeah, we could have gotten the hostel that had like we sh Share shared everything shoot. with. So um, my technique is well, I mean, in the hostel it wouldn't work because it's like it's just you, a regular. You toilet. you I know you what you say. I always do it too big, but like you just bruh, gotta. The thing is, like as soon as I push that button, I'm bruh, I'm pushing, bruh. And if it, it comes, it out, it wasn't comes out. gonna work out there because it was a small bathroom. There was nobody else talking, just somebody washing their teeth and. Like it, it echoed, bro. Those are the so echoey just, bathrooms. At that point, it just, won't work. It has to be in your head, like like you ha like you can do that, like at Disneyland or whatever. Like there's a lot of people there. Everybody's going in and anywhere. out and stuff. And that's another thing. Everybody's going in and out, in and out. The people next to me, bro, they were just and there was a line too. Anyways, um, that's the reason why we I chose to spend the extra money. How much was it? I think the hostel you said it was ten to twenty dollars per person. And then it the was private. A, that one was twenty dollars per person if you chose to do the hostel. Okay. But Ricardo and I ended up getting a private, private room at that hostel, and it was one of them because we stayed two nights there, not like back to back. When mm -hmm. we came back from Lake Atitlan, I got the same hostel again. But the first night we stayed there, I believe was around sixty bucks. Mm -hmm. Then the last day we stayed there was like fifty four. Which again, like. I would rather have spent like the extra twenty, thirty dollars to get a private restroom and a private room, in my opinion. Well, yeah, it was a lot more comfortable. We yeah, had it our was. Room, more space, especially for filming and yeah. stuff. So it was worth it for us. But like, but if, if you want to go really, really budget, sorry to cut you off, it would be better if you just <coughs> do the hostel with just the strangers and just like mm -hmm. sleep in there. But if you have the extra money, I recommend getting the private yeah. one so you can just have your own little space. So I booked. The first hotel, so okay, the way I planned it is I went on booking.com and looked for the hostels and the hostel that I was able to find that was the most affordable, like in Antigua, which is where I wanted to stay because that's where our volcano, um, the shuttle was going to pick us up for the volcano. Yeah. Um, it was, I booked it through booking.com. It was Yellow House Hostel. Yes, 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 yes. And it wasn't like the most luxurious one, but it was really nice. Mm -hmm. If you go see the our vlogs, the the hotel itself was really nice. Thin ass walls, I will say. And then the bathroom, our bathroom had a window that led to like literally the hallway, so everybody could hear your farts. But at that point, it's like you're in your room. You you're in your in room, yeah. exactly. Yeah. At that point, it's like whatever. So for sixty dollars or for fifteen dollars the night for two people, that's actually really good. Like mm -hmm. if Ricardo and I were like just like friends, I guess, and we were gonna share the cost. That's like 30 bucks exactly, per person. Exactly. So it's worth it. But um, yes, the the hostel is called Yellow House Hostel. And they also have like a lot of different... Um, they're kind of like being like an agency where they also sell packages for like shuttles and like mm. adventures and things like that. We didn't do any of that with them. But I like if we would have wanted to, you can also get it with them. That's another thing. If you do want to do any of the um attractions like atv riding and stuff like that it is obviously way more safe to just get it online because like you'll have your reserved spot but That's if true. you don't there's so many agencies over there you can get them with and they're pretty much the same price or a little bit cheaper sometimes yeah it just depends where you if go. you get it with them okay so on booking.com i got my flights with united we actually got really good prices i think i paid like 170 or 180 for each of our um tickets mm -hmm. our airline 
tickets and I did pay extra for the seats because I wanted to sit next to Ricardo and if you don't pay for seats I don't know if it's guaranteed that you'll sit next to you know whoever you're going with so that was an extra forty dollars per person oh damn so that was on top of the 180 okay so I guess in total it was like about 210 for, yeah. for our tickets which is not bad we're going all the way to Guatemala which was a seven hour flight or no six hour Bruh, flight. no it was five five like hours four flight. or five okay the, on the way coming back it felt like 12 hours i don't really? know for some reason when we we're coming back here it felt forever for me it was not that bad we also had economy economy seats obviously no business class for us yet Hopefully so. we had economy all the way in the back of the plane and we had well the middle seat and the window seat yes and i was in the middle seat the whole time yeah, right? you were in the seat. oh i'm so nice for that baby yeah. i really don't mind it i really don't it's mind it because the thing is with me like i I don't mind sitting in the middle seat, but I'm just so big. My shoulders are so big, and I try to. I know how uncomfortable down. you are. I just can't. I know how uncomfortable you are. That that's why I offered because normally we'll do one of us will do window seat going, going, and then we'll switch when we're coming back for the window seat. But this time I was like, I know when he has to go in the middle. He's so uncomfortable. He's literally like this the whole time, yeah. and like for me, since if he goes in the window, I have my neck pillow, and then like I literally lay on him. Mm -hmm. Like it's not a problem for me. Like and I can fall asleep anywhere unlike <laughs> but yeah so i offered myself and i got middle seat the whole time so i didn't get to see any of the outside but it's okay he recorded it yeah, yeah. Before. um okay after we i got my airline tickets or what are they called plane tickets plane tickets airline tickets are you okay um i got the hostel was the yellow house hostel and both of those well not the airline was with united and then um the transfer from the airport to the yellow house the first hotel we were at make sure to book that beforehand guys yeah, unless yeah. you're trying to take the chicken bus which i think goes to there which is really cheap but i didn't want to do like chicken bus i wanted to do like something that took us there and i already knew was like safe and reliable i'm sure ch chicken bus is also reliable mm -hmm. but bro the smell i wasn't even in the chicken bus i would pass by a chicken bus bad. i would almost pass out literally my head would hurt yeah. so bad I, I remember the smell i just think of chicken bus and i just have the smell <laughs> in my nose literally it's like so bad the whole time i was in guatemala Every time I was like around a lot of cars, I would get the ba the worst headache yeah. because I think the cars there aren't like they don't have to do whatever they have to do like the smog checks and stuff. That is the one complaint I have about what like the motor smell, like the, the gas. like the fumes or I don't know what, but mm -hmm. my head would <laughs> it would hurt so bad when I go would go next to the chicken. But but like I said, sometimes you just gotta like you know live it up. Yeah, <laughs> it's an adventure <laughs> of its own, like how the hostel thing, like you gotta live it up, you know. And it's a lot more affordable. But we got our transportation through Booking.com. Mm. I think the the agency was called like Cent Centra or something like that. Mm -hmm. Centria. And it was 40 bucks like from the airport to, to the our hostel. hostel in Antigua. That was through Booking.com. So was our hostel, the Yellow House Hostel. And then we booked our volcano experience online i have the agency was called be hiking tours they're on instagram and they actually post a lot of things if you guys want to go see like the volcano and like mm -hmm. if you guys want to go like the dates and everything it's be hiking tours and our tickets for that i think i'm not 100 percent sure but they were around 70 dollars. it's just hard for me to say because it's there's a conversion between quetzales and yeah. gsd so i bought them in quetzales but like the conversion is a little bit off but mm -hmm. i think it was about 70 dollars per person I'm just like looking at you because I have no idea. I'm sorry. All this this stuff. is just this no, I know, is I know. Just my, my I'm glad, time. but I'm just like I'm not talking enough. And the reason why is because I have no idea how I told you guys. Like Edith booked everything. This is like Ricardo's first time hearing about yeah, all of this. Like I have, I had this is my first time hearing this. Like Ricardo's just like ready to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just tell me. Like I usually pack the stuff. I like try to get everything. But the see, it's such a equipment. good balance because Ricardo will pack everything for us. Like all camera equipment, gear, even he'll pack. This time I packed for myself my clothes, but like... you wanted to film it. Yeah. I think you filmed it. I did film it. And there was like another time, whatever, that I... Last time I helped mm -hmm. pack too. But there was like two times that you even packed my stuff, remember? Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Because again, like, mm -hmm. you booked everything. Like, I know how stressful it is to look for all this stuff and book it. Like, the least I could do is just get all I was actually excited to, um... Stuff. To like pack toiletries and all that stuff. But he'll, he'll do like mostly everything and he double checks everything. So mm -hmm. he... Ricardo, like... That, maybe we make such a good team. We make such a <laughs> Anyways, okay, so 
the okay do you want to talk about the volcano experience like after i talk about all of the booking stuff yes i think we should like let them know the booking stuff so like if they want to they can hear the booking stuff and then skip to the volcano okay so i think yeah just you're already almost done with the with the booking yeah stuff so um we did it with the hiking tours and then we also booked a shuttle that took us from the volcano after, to lake when we, when we after, came back from the yeah. right but it was with the same agency mm -hmm. with the hiking tours and that one was um forty dollars from the book after volcano to lake atitlan yes okay i believe it was 40 bucks it wasn't it wasn't that much um it's actually pretty cheap and then the ride was like three or hours twenty dollars honestly i'm not 100 percent sure but that one depends on how many how many people are going yeah. to the lake atitlan so if the shuttle is going like with full it'll be less for you but if it's like the shuttle is only you and... Because that basically be private at that point. Right. So the least people, the more it costs, the, the most, more people... The most it will be for you, though, is, I, I think, 500 quetzales. Whatever yeah. amount that is. USD. But then we went to Lake Atitlan. And in Lake Atitlan, I got a hotel. This one was actually also hostel, but this one was less hostel. -y. No, actually, it was also yeah, it was hostel. Yeah, it was hostel. Because it had, like, the, the public kitchen yeah. where, like, everybody could cook. I, I remember when we were going to our room, there was, like, four, five, maybe even six rooms. And you, I looked inside because the cleaning lady was cleaning. Mm -hmm. And there was, like, two bunk beds and then, like, another three beds, like, on the side. So I think a total... Which like that actually eight, eight to nine people could fit in one. Yeah, room. that actually would be so cool if you're going with a group of people. Oh my god, like right? imagine like you, me, like Erica, Adam. Yeah, like if you're going with a big group of people, that would actually be super fun because one, it's super affordable, mm -hmm. and two, you get one room for like a lot of you guys. Slumber party at that point. Right, exactly. It would be mm -hmm. so fun if you have a big group. Yeah. But the hotel was called Selena, and this one I got it through their um website website wait did i i don't know <laughs> no i didn't i'm lying i also got it through booking.com girl you know it's because I, I just talk with my hands i know i know and i keep bumping onto the freaking desk i got the selena hotel for um on booking.com as well and that one was actually very pricey compared to well, the hostel yeah i ended up paying i believe it was about 500 dollars for the three nights for right? three nights yeah it, and I'm looking back at it, and I think I know why it was pricey. I mean, the the boats to to take us to the pueblos was right there. Mm -hmm. There was like restaurants also that was right there. And when we walked a couple streets down, there was also like all those vendors. When we had that nice yeah. view of walking out, so I mean, it's it's like how it is now in the economy. Like if you get a house where there's a lot of things around, it's more pricey. Yeah, it was pricey, but it was definitely worth it. I would oh, say that. Like yeah. I would I would go back and see Hell, a city yeah. now, and. I just expected it to be a little bit cheaper only because it was a it's hostel. A hostel yeah. Normally hostels are a little bit cheaper, but overall, like I love the vibes. It was also pretty small, but it was a lot bigger than the Yellow House hostel. Oh, 100%. I yeah. will say that, but it was also really beautiful. That one did have a pool. Selena had a very, very cool thing, which at first for me was inconvenient, but then I realized it was the biggest like blessing in disguise, which yes. was it had the bar. It had like a bar that was like separate from the hotel mm -hmm. when we first checked in they gave us a little voucher and they were like oh you have a welcome drink at the bar or wherever they had it was told like us Papa, Papa yeah and they were like, like and i was like oh where is this at and they were like oh it's pretty much you walk here get out make a left past the construction site da, da, da. and i was like bro i'm not gonna go because like i i was so scared of walking on the streets yeah, i remember yeah i was so scared um but we ended up finding it that night and it was like so 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 beautiful it was like beach vibes like there were it was beach, beach front it yeah. was beach front and you could like go all the way there you could chill it was like a lot of like chairs there was pizza the pizza was amazing music lights camera music. action oh my god it was like a me thunder now Bro, i wonder if the microphones picked that up that was the loudest thunder ever wait thunder. sticky 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 off oh. Go off, place. Go place. Off. Go place. Oh my god. Go place. place. <laughs> the cameras, you guys can see. Or I don't know if you guys can see it. It's balancing on the bed. So if Bailey jumps on the bed right now, it's gonna literally fall. Baby, go place, please. Go place. Place. Good girl. We're almost done. <laughs> okay. I'm getting ahead of myself again. Next, we booked, or we didn't book, the lanchas that take you to the little towns. Mm -hmm. Um, They will rip you off, I think. 
They didn't rip us off. They didn't rip us off. I really off. thought we had I got scammed. We really off. Because when we got, we we finally discovered that the boats there, the lanchas, took us to the different pueblitos. We're like, okay, like so we went the next day, and the guy that was like basically like escorting us to the boats, he's like, oh, they're hustlers, yeah, like they're, they're hustlers. like they're like lancha, lancha, taxi, or like uh -huh. tuk tuk. So the guy basically is like, I asked him, can I pay here or like where do I pay? He's like, oh, you could pay here. So I like you know I gave him the fifty gets. So no, okay, you didn't explain it well though because like the guy that like hustled us into going with because there's a lot of different mm -hmm. lanchas and everybody wants your yeah oh my gosh they're like you to go with them right so they're not like at the dock These yeah they're like ahead are like way before you get to the dock and they'll ask you where are you going where are you going and like wherever you tell them like oh yeah i got you like come with me right yeah because so, that boat goes to every single spot every single yeah. pueblo which is kind of dumb that they ask you where they're exactly, where you're going i think, I think they're just, just trying like, to make you feel special or yeah. something but pretty much the day before so the day we got to Lake Atitlan, we just like explored the area and stuff. And one, we were going to that bar, the bar that has a beachfront, and we realized that the dock was right next to it. The lanchas were there and everything. And this guy came up to us and asked us, and we were like, "We're not leaving right now, but we got all of the information." And he like told us that if it was private or public, which is another thing, make sure to get public. the public one because if you get they private, like they charge you so much. And the private, I mean, the public one is twenty quetzales. Okay. Take cash. 25. 25? 25. Because well, it was 50, 50, right? It's 25. Take cash because they won't give you change most of the time. They take might, small bills. Know. Take small bills. Yeah, and take small bills. Like, give them exact change, pretty much. Because you could pay with, like, a, a 500 quetzales, and they could be like, oh, I don't have change. Yeah. Screw you, and they'll keep the 500, yeah. and you just got, like, one way. Yeah, so take, like, enough money to, like, pay your exact yeah. amount. So for us, Ricardo would always just give them a 50. Yeah, because right? it's 25, 25. Mm -hmm. But so this guy hustled no okay so the first day we like got the information from this guy and then then the next day we got there he was there again and he like came mm -hmm. up to us and we were like oh yeah like i don't think he recognized us at first no but then after he figured out it was us or whatever and so then he just took us to the land shop so it's like imagine the boat is here and we're over here so he gets us over here and he brings us to the boat and somebody else is taking the boat like he's not the one that's driving the boat or nothing he's just gonna stay there and go get more people to come get on the boat and so ricardo asks him <laughs> holy shit <laughs> another one i don't know if you guys can hear but it's really loud mm -hmm. um ricardo asks him do i pay you or do i pay when i get over yeah. there and he was like, oh, you can pay me. So Ricardo just gives him the money and we got on the lancha. And the thing about it, though, is if you do a public lancha, you need to wait till it's full before you leave. Mm -hmm. So you might be there for 20, 30 minutes, however long it takes. Yeah. For us, it was only like... 5, 10. Yeah, like tops 15. Yeah. We were just there. But we noticed everybody that would get on wouldn't pay. And there's no one paying. They would just get on. Mm -hmm. And we were like, but we already paid. We just got scammed. And then we thought, oh my gosh, everybody else is going to pay when they get off, wherever they're going. And we, what are we going to say? And we were like, oh my gosh, we definitely got, we got scammed. We got scammed. 50 quetzales. Yeah, I was like, damn. 50. But 50 quetzales is like literally only a couple of dollars. No, no, yeah. But it was just like the thought. Like, I yeah. was like thinking the whole time. like, damn, I can't believe I just got yeah, scammed. Yeah, and no. And I told Ricardo. I just started laughing. I was like, bro, like, man just hustled us. Yeah. Like, whatever. You know, you know like, you're trying to, trying to get his own money, you know? Yeah, I was like, I hope he needs that money or whatever, yeah. right? But then when we actually ended up like getting to the place, he asked for the money. And Ricardo was like, oh, I already paid for it. And he's like, okay. He didn't make yeah. a big deal about it. We just left. I was just like, let's go, bro. Like, I already paid someone. <laughs> and I'm sure, like, they, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure, they, like, they know they each other cut. because he went up to the guy that was driving yeah. the boat. and There's, like, two other boats, him. and he got me to that specific boat. No, but he talked to the guy, the main guy and everything. So this, this weather's crazy. This weather is crazy, It was guys. literally sunny the last it was couple so, of days. No, sunny it was, this morning. It was so hot today, babe. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, rain, thunder, freaking sky is falling. Don't say that, baby, please. No, no, Chicken Little. Oh, chicken little. you're scared Have you never seen Chicken Little? Yes, I have seen Chicken Little. Oh, okay. I've never seen Spongebob. Yeah, anyways, I have. Anyways, anyways. Anyways. Okay. Yeah. We went to San Juan. San Juan the first time. And in San Juan. Where all the other umbrellas were at, right? Right. And no one has ever told us this. In the TikToks, you, they never say. I'm sorry, baby, but my jaw hurts so much. I think I've been yapping too much. Okay, so let me let me take over for this when we get to yes, San Juan. Please. Where's the water? So we get to San Juan. Baby, your chair, baby. Sorry. So we get to San Juan, and remind you, Edith has seen TikToks about this. I have even said 
seen TikToks about this. When you get to San Juan, it's so nice in the TikToks. Like, there's a bunch of umbrellas. It's colorful. There's music playing. We get to a spot. We're basically hiking up San Juan. Like all the umbrellas, all the little like places where you could buy little stuff, it's all at a like uphill. You were gonna say an angle. At a, I was gonna say an angle. <laughs> it was all uphill. It was like the volcano all over again. It was. And mind you, we were so sore from the volcano. Like it we was skipped. So bad. We skipped all the volcano part right now because we're gonna. We, well, we were supposed to just talk about the booking right now, and you're yeah. just giving details, but it's okay. Um, but we were so sore from the volcano. It so was... everything we did felt so much worse but really this was like super like at an incline we were like freaking mm -hmm. hiking it was, it was it was bad but i mean at the end of the day that san juan was really really nice i it, the vibes were immaculate so in san juan we didn't have anything planned i didn't book anything for san juan i did see a couple tiktoks and i saw like kind of an overview of everything that they had there each little city has kind of a theme in a way like there's I can't say off the top of my head, but there's one that's like a little bit more calm, like a little bit more like um, for like if you like yoga, meditation, like mm -hmm. that vibe. And there's a little bit more like party vibes, I guess, and like cool. But we ended up going to San Juan, San Marcos. San Juan is the first one we went to. And here I just saw that people went to a mirador and they went on a bee or a chocolate tour and so we just started walking around we didn't know where any anything was yeah. at and originally we wanted to eat something but we also figured out that nobody eats pizza for breakfast or lunch <laughs> literally all the pizza spots were closed they were either open at 2 p.m 3 5 4 p.m 6 p.m yeah so we were able to get our pizza and in the middle of us just like figuring out what we wanted to do we got a tuk tuk like which was our first tuk tuk that that one do you think we got scammed with that tuk tuk or do you think it was a, a fair price i think we got scammed because it I, was supposed to be 50 quetzales just to the goro del mirador right and from there i mean i i understand like he took us not to the mirador but he took us to like a little spot like where he knows where it's as nice as a mirador it's basically the same thing but he had told us that it's like a 20 minute hike from where you start to go to the mirador Right? It was like a 10, 15, uh, 15, 20 minute hike. Yeah. And he was like, well, I know a better spot where you can see the beach. It looks nicer. And so we went and he's like, oh, I know this B spot, a B tour. Took us to the B tour. Well, we agreed not to go to the Minador. Yeah, we had agreed because he had told us. He would have took us if he wanted to. Yeah. And like, I just hate to think that he scammed us because he was really nice. He was really nice. Like, he felt like like family. I mean, if, okay, if we think about it, to the, to the lookout was 50. And if we think about it. Um, to the beast spot was another 50 and then to the lake was another 50 actually yeah it, it, it's it's we didn't get scammed and he waited for us and he waited for so us so yeah after. yeah i mean i guess yeah, he talked he us he us. talked us out of going to the mirador which it didn't take much convincing because him and i ricardo and i were so <coughs> like um, we didn't know what to do no we were so sore oh yeah that we were like is it a good idea because to get to the mirador you have to go up like stairs thousand stairs it's like 20 minutes stair hike up mm -hmm. and he was like do you guys really want to go to the middle or something like that he said it in a very nice yeah, way yeah. he was like you guys can get the same view from like i have a good lookout view like mm -hmm. a spot like i'll take you guys if you guys want to and we were like you know what hell yeah like <laughs> i am down to have a good review without the hike right now you know <laughs> which i if i wouldn't have been so sore i and you know what i wasn't that sore. I, I i was, was looking out for you this was the most sore i have ever been it was literally from the freaking soles of my feet to the shoulders of my shoulders. <laughs> the it shoulders was, of your shoulders? It was so <laughs> bad. I've never been this sore. Yeah. I was walking so slow. That morning that we woke up, Ricardo had, like, he couldn't get out of bed. He was, like, literally moaning the whole time. He was getting out of the bed. And then he we had to drink, um, Ad Ad no, Tylenol. Tylenol. We caught him in where, like, there's, like, all of the umbrellas and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then he talked us out of going to Miador, so we went to the beach spot instead, or the lookout view. And then from there, he told us about a, a bee tour there was, so then he took us, like, back to the bee tour. And then waited for us there, we did the whole bee tour, it wasn't that long, it was probably, like, 20 like, minutes. Yeah, and then waited for us there, we bought honey there, and then he took us back to a beach spot. And, and this spot, it was, like, his, like, 
local spot which i think it was because it was like all locals there yeah huh? there wasn't that many there like, wasn't like that many, many tourists people, yeah. like it was locals the water was so clear it was so like nice Not warm it was warm no it wasn't you told you us it would be warm you scammed me you know when i first went into the water because he the guy had told us that the water would be warm there and i was like oh my god yay warm so i went in there and it was freaking cold like it felt cold and, and i was like, like oh but i was like ricardo won't come in here if i liked him i wanted to like prank him so i was like oh my gosh so warm i was like literally ooh, ooh, so warm and so he went in and like i scammed him or whatever but actually once i was already in the water for like not even that long it actually felt like it was really warm it was in your cabeza no no no, no. it felt like it was really warm no, was seriously there, but anyways he left us there oh and then we left the honey in the tuk-tuk drivers because we bought a honey when we went to the beach tour mm -hmm. and we left it in the tuk-tuk but when he dropped us off there at the beach um or it wasn't the beach it was like a lake spot yeah. right um we exchanged numbers thankfully because i was like can you pick us up afterwards and he was like yeah i'll be back in like an hour or whatever and so we exchanged numbers and so as soon as he left ricardo and i were filming it and i was like oh the honey and then I texted him fast and I was like, do you have the honey? Because I don't know. I don't know if I had dropped it or left it there, which, yeah. you know, but he had it. He kept it for us. Then he picked us up an hour later and then he drove us all the way back to where he had picked us up at first, which is like super close to the lanchas. And then we took our lancha back. Again, another 50 quetzales back home. We're not home to Panahachel, which is where Selena Hotel is yeah. at. And then what do we do next day? Ooh, day two. Three. Three. Four. Full, full day two. Full day two. For yeah, Selena two. or Lake Atitlan. Yeah. We did. San Marcos. San. No. Another Are you ATV forgetting? tour. Yes. Another ATV tour. <gasps> I forgot about the first ATV tour. Oh my god. We don't keep got a 57 minutes. It's yeah. because I was trying to go so fast about it. I know, I know, but I'm just saying like. No, but okay. So. Um, the first day we got there when we got when we got to Yellow House Hostel, I Rewind. also. Rewind a couple of days. What do you mean? Because we went, we're gonna go, we're like a day two, but now we're going back to Oh, day. yeah, we're rewinding to the day. Well, it'll be really fast. Okay. When I was telling you guys that I did the like motorcycle drive, I did it in uh, Antigua, which was the first day we got there when we went to the Yellow House Hostel. Literally, we left our stuff at the Yellow House Hostel. We left our luggages, which is actually something that I forgot to tell you guys. You guys can definitely do that because check in is not until 3 p.m. So if you wanna take advantage of the whole day, we landed in um, Guatemala at 6 a.m. So we were there since really early. We went to our hotel and we left our luggages there. So we were able to like do whatever we wanted without like having our luggages on us. But we also did an ATV tour like literally that morning. And it was with um Simon S I M O O N. Yes. S I M O O N. Yeah. That's the agency, but then in Anti or Lake Atitlan, we did another ATV mm -hmm. tour, and that one was with Cuatrimotos underscore Panahachel. I'll write everything in the description box. I don't guys. know how you remember all this stuff. Well, because... You have a really good memory. No, because I had to, like... I yeah, been... it's so engraved in your head already. <laughs> because <laughs> I had to do all this research, yeah. but... Um, that one we also thought, well, dude, we, it's cause you know what, we are, we always think about the worst, right? Yeah. Cause I was gonna say, we thought we got scammed so many times. Yeah, we did. That one, we thought we got scammed again. Because they said that they don't work the next day, but if we pay for it, it was they on were Sunday. gonna work. So I was like. Yeah, it was on a Sunday and I guess they didn't have any reservations for Sunday. Yeah. And they were like, but if you guys, like, we are not working tomorrow, but if you guys want to do a tour tomorrow, we'll come. And like the first tour that we did, the ATV tour they were like a big company and like yeah. and also they charged us only 70 bucks so like for one person because in the first tour we did each one of us was 70 bucks yeah so we were like wait what when she when she like told me the amount i was like oh <laughs> i'm getting myself a deal uh -huh. and i didn't know she was giving me the wrong number like the wrong amount but i was like even if she is i'll just pay it <laughs> you know if tomorrow she told me i have to pay more then i guess i'll just pay it but i'm not saying nothing right now and no it ended up being that i paid 70 bucks but it was because for that one we only did one atv yeah we, we shared one yeah we shared one and the other one we had both got one but in the other one even if we would have shared it we still would have had to pay the same amount that's true so they just gave us a good deal in Lake Atitlan, the Cuatrimotos under Panahachel. Mm -hmm. um, that one was literally a private one because we no were the one only ones that booked exactly. it. So it was private. It was just us and the girl. But the reason why we thought we had got scammed was because one, the, like it was a cheap price. And also because 
they had said that they weren't working on Sunday. So yeah. when we get there on Sunday in the morning, literally the whole establishment is like literally shut down. Yeah, because they told us to be there at 9 and we got there at 9 and it was like 9.05 and still It was shut there. down and we were like, bro, we got scammed. Yeah, okay. And we were just, I was trying to be optimistic, but I was like, like she's not getting here yeah. she was like six minutes late yeah she was six minutes late. she was like six but minutes she got there which was i was really happy and she was really time. nice yeah. and like everything went well Thinkies. oh my off, god off, off 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 <laughs> off oh my god <laughs> go place baby go place go, go place. place mommy go place okay fine you can stay here but don't go down the bed just give her scratchies yeah. she wants scratchies after atvs we again took a lancha to this time the city of san marcos. marcos and we went there because ricardo wanted to do cliff jumping which he was about to chicken out on oh my god it was crazy okay so san marcos their theme is kind of like a park it's like a, a park where there's like a bunch of things to do mm -hmm. so that's what i've noticed because when i got there there was like a bunch of different prices and they had like a lot of different they had things kayaking to do. yeah they had kayaking the cliff jumping you could just get in the water there there's a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. so we get there and we purchase the um the cliff jumping mm -hmm. one we're getting closer oh to my gosh time. and i will this is one thing i will say that i just remembered which i haven't even talked to you about on only in the moment but don't ever like when you go ask for a price for something don't ever like when you're about to pay be like oh it's this amount right i do remember that <laughs> don't do that guys because the paper said that it was like half the amount ricardo paid yeah. but ricardo was like when he was about to pay, he was like, we were like, oh, we just want to do cliff jumping. And then he was like, just for one person? And we were like, yeah, just one person. And he was like, okay. And then we were about to pay. He hadn't even told him out or anything. And mm -hmm. Ricardo was like, oh, it's like 50 quetzales. 50 quetzales, right? And then he was like, yeah. But the paper said it was like 20. It was something it's like I that. Seen it was on like TikTok. I seen on TikTok that it was this price and I just went with it and I just got I scammed myself. <laughs> yeah. I scammed like, myself. Like the man was not going to say him, no, it's not. It's yeah. less, right? So don't, lesson learned. Yeah, lesson learned. Don't be this guy, and don't get yourself scammed. Yeah. But I think out of every single time we got scammed, we didn't get scammed once. Yeah. Just maybe that one. But that I, was did, the I did it to myself. Though. Yeah, I did it to myself. <laughs> you did that too. You <laughs> deserve that, boy. <laughs> okay. Anyways, once we paid, we're walking closer and closer, and I'm not gonna lie, my heart was sinking and sinking closer to my ass. It was scary. And when I seen the cliff, I was like, this looks a lot higher than it does on TikTok. <laughs> I don't know if it was because I wasn't going to jump, but I was like, oh, this is not too bad. Oh my. And then when I <laughs> went to the ledge, I looked down and I was like, I can't do this. Like, I was already telling you, like, I, I can't do it. I think aside from, like, all the BS, like, you know, the, the, how to book all this stuff and everything, like, real talk, like, relationship talk. I didn't realize that you were like afraid of a lot of things up until this trip. Well, I mean, the only thing I, I was scared of is high, the height. Right. <laughs> like, I think that it, it even taught us a lot about like us as a couple. Yeah. Because there are certain things, because like I said, Ricardo's a type of like, he's a doer. Like, yeah. he'll do whatever, like, I'll tell him to do. And in that moment, like, that's the first ever time I saw him doubt something. And I was like, no way. He's really that scared that he, like, he was about to chicken out. I was. And I was you close. normally don't chicken out on anything, baby. But, hey, you could say that I am not I didn't chicken out, though. You, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Please put here the clip of you jumping. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie. Look, so the second I jump my i mentally was not prepared of me jumping because i told myself if i don't jump right now i'm never gonna jump i'm never gonna jump if i don't jump right now so i literally my body jumped off and i realized it when i was halfway <laughs> and i was mentally in there and he literally jumped off like yeah. ah, like, literally like so that. that was my body <laughs> that was in my head that was my body doing all that i like no, I, I, I mean, I happening. don't blame you. I probably would have done the same thing. But, like, what I'm saying is that I guess, you know, when you think somebody is, like, a lot braver than they actually are, yeah. and then it comes down to it and they chicken out, like, that was my whoa moment. Like, I didn't realize you Yeah, were. we've been together for about because nine years. we have life. established that in our relationship, I'm the chicken. Yeah. But when, like, the strong one becomes a chicken, you're like, what? That was the only, I think that was so far the only time where I've been, like, I don't think it's okay. It. It's okay to be afraid, baby. No. 
<laughs> yes, it was so scary. But honestly, I look back and my I did that shit. Yeah. But I was still. I, too, I wouldn't do it again. That's how I feel about everything that I did yeah. because, like, now I'm like, I wrote an ATV in Guatemala in by the yourself, of the street, by myself. That's right. Yeah, that 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 trip really taught me a lot about myself, mm -hmm. and um, it was it was insane. Okay, so after that we ate Domino's. Guatemala has Domino's, guys, and it's really good. So if you go and you're hungry, Domino's. definitely try out Domino's. But pace yourself, please. We woke up like absolute caca the next yeah. morning. Okay, so we were trying to not consume meat. meat in Guatemala just because we didn't want to get sick. Yeah. Um, Jacob, Jacob had told us that he got sick when yeah. he went to Guatemala. So we were like, you know, we're not well, sick, but like he had diarrhea. Yeah, like food poisoning, yeah. kind of. You, you just because we're no, not. No, food, food poisoning is way different than diarrhea. Food poisoning, Wait. you're vomiting. Food poisoning isn't diarrhea. No, food poisoning, you're vomiting. I've had food poisoning one time, and it was terrible. You're just like oh. constantly vomiting. So what he what? He had diarrhea. So what is it called? Diarrhea. <laughs> Whatever it is, but like. The meat has something that makes you get sick. Yeah, your stomach doesn't feel good. You just like, you know. Uh -huh. And we were trying to avoid that as much as possible because if we ate meat, like let's say the second day we're there, we're going to feel like shit the next couple of days. We could we... not be shitting or have diarrhea. Imagine if I had going diarrhea. up a volcano. Imagine ice. I had diarrhea mid-jump. Or mid-jump. You'll just yeah. see poop flying up in the air. <laughs> so we, yeah, we tried to avoid yeah. avoiding meat as much as we could. Mm -hmm. Also, Water, filtered water. We were traveling to get like water bottles, which we oh thought was God, filtered. That was another big ass problem. That was another deal on its own that I don't know if we're going to have enough time to talk about. Honestly, fuck it. If people are still watching to this moment, it's because they're intrigued and they want to know everything and everything. So we'll talk about it. Okay, you know what? We're going to talk about it really quick. Okay. I'm a tank. Long story short. No. I'm a tank. Do not make long story right. short. Long story long. No, wait. Finish Domino's. Oh, what do you mean finish Domino's? That we decided to eat Domino's because we were trying to stray away from eating, like, meat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which, like, there was really good food, but they just had meat. Oh, and God, we were like, yeah. we'll get the safe option, Domino's. It's pizza. We know what we're eating. Yeah. Bruh, no. Like, nothing hurt our stomach as much as Domino's did. Yeah. It was really good, I'm it not going to lie. Bomb. But, like, I, I think we just ate, overate it. No, I think it was because um, our stomachs, for a couple days already had been eating good food baby mm. we had been eating like when we went to the volcano they fed us like huevitos with beans and like fruit and then the day we we got there we also ate a bagel with eggs mm. and beans and it was a hash brown and what did we eat for dinner that day in the little burrito home that they gave no, no, us no 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 the first day we got there oh i don't remember well, what did we eat for dinner you're lying i don't remember i don't think we ate dinner there's no way we didn't. Eat. Yes, we went to Hobitenango with the ATV tour, and we bought the nachos. We bought nachos. Yeah, you're right. Is that all we ate that day? Yeah, I think so. Okay, but anyways, that day too it was like nachos with chicken. That was the meat oh we did God. eat. That chicken. was. A we did Bobby's. eat chicken, but it was really good, you know. And then, freaking after we come back from on oh, the volcano, we ate that for breakfast, and then for dinner we ate like chicken with rice. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. We did eat a lot of chicken, which actually. I'm surprised. I'm not. I'm, I don't. I don't want to say I'm surprised. You, your stomach is really sensitive with chicken. If it's not cooked right, you are so sensitive to yeah. chicken. Yeah. And then we also ate a burrito. Well, you ate a burrito because I didn't want to eat the burrito. But I, like, I forced myself. But like the point is like, and it had beans, right? It had yeah. beans and chicken and tomato and yeah. stuff. And so the day that we ate the Domino's, like we had been eating really good food, even though it was meat, which we were scared of. Mm -hmm. It didn't get us sick, right? We ate Domino's, fucking high preservatives, <laughs> high carb, like greasy. greasy boom hit us in the face and that next morning like i was like this is what i get for wanting to stay away from the meat and like thinking that domino's was a safer option than freaking yeah. eating beans and rice yeah probably the meat would have been a better option at that point stop touching this sorry 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 anyways i forgot where we we're going with this with water that night oh like, my gosh we so ate the domino's wait so if you guys eat i don't know if, if i don't know if it's just me or if it's you or if it's you but Domino's or like pizza wings, it makes me so thirsty at night. Mm -hmm. It makes yeah. me so thirsty. We had half. This of was a, our biggest argument of the trip, by the we way. We had half of a three liter left. Edith was like, "Yeah, this is gonna be enough for us," you know. And I'm like, "Okay, because let listen. me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk." Mm -hmm. 
I was like, babe, we should go get some water. Because if we don't have water, you know. It was already dark, guys. It was dark. It was around 7. But it was still dark. It was dark. It was 7. We, and the store that we go to, to go get like the, the money. It was like walk, 10 minutes away. It was not 10 minutes A 10 away. minute walk. It, okay, it was a 10 minute walk, but they closed at 9. And it was dark. Ask me caso. Okay, so you would rather me go out at no, 11 no, midnight. No, I would have rather you not freaking be I'm a I'm thirsty. <laughs> but your decision was like, okay, you know what? He Guys, finished okay, it. listen. We had bought a three liter, three liter bottle of water, which was, which was half halfway, uh -huh. which means it was one and a half liters, yes. right? So picture this. We have half of this water, and I'm like, babe, like that's way more than enough. And guys, it was a lot of water. Like it was not. What because do you I know myself when I eat wings or Domino's or pizza, I'm super duper thirsty. Well, I didn't think you were that much of a tank, right? So See, like, I could drink that I and another see one. This and I was like, it was already like the nighttime, so I was like. And we had already ate the food, and we had already drank the water. So we were like, you know, I, I thought, he didn't think that. I thought, I was like, we have half a gal gallon of water. We'll, we'll sip on it tonight, and when we wake up in the morning, we'll pick up another water bottle. But then, I go to sleep. You were also drinking the water, too. I, I fell asleep with that water being half waste. I, no, you yes. didn't. Babe, I, I freaking sipped the water. <laughs> I sipped the water. And like, it was like still like half waist. And then I was like, okay, I'm good for that night. That's what I said. Okay, I said I'm good for the night. And there was still half of the liter, three liters left. I wake up at 12 a.m. And I'm like, babe, I want water. No, 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 no. You did not do that. You're like, babe, oh, there's Yeah, why? Because like, I was so dehydrated. <laughs> and I was like, babe, can you give me water? And he's like, there's babe, none. there's no more water. And I freaked out. I was like, what do you mean there's no more water? <laughs> it was and one and a half liters when I fell asleep. <laughs> we were supposed to ration, guys. Like, can you please, like, side with me right now? Like, we were supposed to ration the freaking water. But listen. And Mr. Tank over here but listen, didn't listen, ration the water. Listen, and I told you, babe, I'm thirsty. Let's go buy some water. I told you, this was unavoidable if we would have just went. Or we could have okay. rationed I the water. I can't. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> You, so what I decided, I you, listen, you know what rationing means? No. You know the definition of rationing? It means you're still thirsty, but you're still sleeping. But if there's a way to not ration, well, see, I would have gone to well, go buy see, water. Mr. Here was no longer thirsty. He was fine. No, I was still thirsty. <laughs> what do you mean? I was still thirsty. You drank no, a, I was half still, an, baby, a liter and a half of water. I was water. still thirsty. How many, um, how much is a liter and a half? Anyway, so when that happened, she's crying. So I'm thirsty. I can't I was, your You guys, tank. I was dreaming in my dream that I had found water, like middle of the so And I remember chugging that water and I'm feeling, oh my gosh, such a big relief. Then I wake up and then it's my reality. Like I was so dehydrated. You swear. Yes. So, anyways, when that happened, Baby, I was. 1.5 liters is 50 fluid <laughs> ounces of water. You know how much that is? How much? Almost half a gallon. I want to eat pizza and I eat wings. I get really thirsty. What else do you want me to tell you? Okay. Anyways, so wh what do I do? I put on some sweats. I put on a hoodie and I walk my ass out at fucking 11 at night to go to the fucking gas station that was across the street from Selena. It was just in front of Selena, guys. Okay, yeah, I guarantee you that. But you didn't realize that because you didn't go with me. I walked to the gas station. <laughs> Two random ass dudes at the gas station. I don't know where the fuck to go. I asked them, oh, where can I buy water? They said, oh, go more across the street. They have water there. I go more across <laughs> the street. A random dude just goes in front. I stand there like a dumbass, like, this shit's closed. There's nobody here. <laughs> a random ass dude comes next to me, opens the fucking window, and there's a guy sitting there. Like, why didn't he open the fucking window? I was there the whole time. He goes, no, 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 um, oh, I don't know what the fuck he said. He talks so fast. So then I go up to the window and I ask the guy, Hey, man, then now I'll keep. Do you guys sell water? Oh, would you look at that? They don't sell fucking water. So I'm out there with like four dudes in the middle of the fucking night looking for water. They weren't even sketchy, baby. baby. They weren't sketchy baby. dudes. Baby. Just because it was dudes baby. out doesn't mean they were sketchy dudes. Up at night, I had my wallet full of the cash <laughs> looking for water. So I go back inside. <laughs> I like go back inside the, the hostel 
and the lady that was like in the front office like in the in the register thingy mm -hmm. um i she was still there it was midnight and she was still there she was just leaving i'm like there's like a, a little fridge that was locked up and i'm like ¿Puedo comprar agua de ahí? <laughs> Yeah, me boy. No puedo. I'm like, are you fucking? She could have unlocked that. She was really trying. Are you like, she was spraying on my downfall. So she leaves and then she's like, pues ahí está la cocina. You could get water from there, like the kitchen. Yeah, which was not a, was yeah that's. I was gonna say, like, she probably didn't unlock it because she was like, these men, like, I'm not gonna unlock the fridge when they can just go get that exactly. other water. Exactly. It was like but the, we didn't the know water this. from there. But I thought this whole time, Ricardo filled it up. He went to the room and he got the, we had to get a hydro flask. So he got the hydro flask and he filled it up with the water from there and brought it back. But when he brings it back, I was mad. Because she was pissed as fuck. She was like, I was mad because I was, I was just thinking that I was gonna get sick from, from the, the water. water and it was all because he hadn't rationed, you know? And look, Obviously, like I get his point of view. Like you drink a lot of water, thirsty. you're a tank, yeah. But like you didn't even leave a sip for me. Like, I can't. I was thirsty as fuck. Dude, I was dying. So was I, I was dying. So was I. Uh, <laughs> this could have been all avoidable if you would have just if been like, you oh, wait, go get some water. If you would have go buy another it. gallon, go buy another liter. One it liter would be dark okay. already. Maybe I would have rather have gone over there when it's seven well, at looking night. Looking back, babe, if I knew the future and I knew that you would have fucking. Babe, you know I'm a tank. I didn't know you were gonna ration for me. And you, I, I thought I was the love of your life. I'm not gonna lie. You when almost I drank the last me. sip. I drank it. I was like, <laughs> I finished this shit. <laughs> well, anyways, I didn't want to drink the water. Because I, yeah, so I went out there and I got the water and I told her, like, I even took a picture of it. I'm like, babe, this is like the gallon where it's like filtered. Like, the, the machine is filters of water. And I filled it up and I brought it. She didn't want it. She was being like, I, I, don't, I don't want it. I'm not yeah. drinking it. And then she gave me the silent treatment. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to put it on the nightstand. If you get thirsty, go for it. I There's no way in hell you're crying of this thirst that you're not going to drink well, this Well, yeah, I, I was really thirsty. A couple hours so, later. I think no, it was, it wasn't even an hour. Maybe it was like 10 minutes later. 10 minutes because, later, all I hear. Because listen, listen. Chuggy. Listen. Uh, I didn't want to drink the water because I was going to get, I thought I was going to get sick and it was going to be all because of this and water I understand that. that you got from the tap. Exactly. I thought you just like got like a and look, fountain water. from your anger, you didn't realize. Because I even pulled up the picture of my like, look babe, I got this from here. And you know what? You looked at it, pero te valió. <laughs> te valió. I, I was like, I was like, my, I was blind, blind in that moment yeah, because nothing, pissed. nothing in that moment was going to make me feel like it was safe to drink that water. Like, nothing in the moment would have made me feel it was safe. And what did you make you think, like, 10 minutes later when you were chugging it down? Nothing. You just I just couldn't hold it back? I just, I drank the water and I was like, que sea lo que Dios quiera. Because, like, I, it was either die of dehydration or, <laughs> you know, take my odds at getting sick. So I was like, I'll take my odds because I, I, I don't want to die of dehydration right now. <laughs> you swear, but Dude, your was, body could go three days it without was water. so bad, babe. It was so bad. I was so thirsty. I tried like just falling back asleep. I couldn't. I could not. I have never been more thirsty in my life. That was the most. Not even when we were hiding. I'm not gonna talking. lie. I could have made the situation so much worse. She could have been so mad. I could have been like, "That's what I thought." You did say no, that. No, the next morning. Yeah. And the moment I could have been like, "No, que no, <laughs> no, que no." But I was like, you know what? Zip it, lock it, put it in my pocket, and go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and I even asked him to give me more water. <laughs> I was still thirsty. So yeah. Why were we talking about this? I don't know, but... Our biggest fight, I guess. No, yeah, that was... And then that was... Okay. Anyways. The last day comes, and I totally forgot how the day went. The last day, we went to San Marcos. We jumped off the cliff, came back, watched the Super Bowl. The next day was our last day, and that day... We were we had to go back to Antigua because Legatitlan is about three hours three three hours away. Sorry. Three hours away from or four hours away from the airport. So our flight left at seven a.m. Seven a yeah, our flight left at seven a.m. So we were four hours away from the airport. So I was like, there's literally no shuttle that's gonna our 
it's four hours away plus you're supposed to be at the airport about two hours before so that's six hours mm -hmm. that we had to like be before 7 a.m so what's that like midnight yeah so i was like we there's no way we were gonna make it so we left a day early but we still wanted to like take advantage of our last day there so we again got a tuk tuk that charged us about the same amount that took us to la reserva natural mm -hmm. which was literally super super close the, the tuk tuk ride was about five to ten minutes mm -hmm. and it was also yeah so it's super close to selena so if you guys do end up staying at selena it's really really close and it was really it's a good experience if you want to see butterflies in a dome yeah recommend it was so beautiful yeah there's a lot of butterflies everywhere it's super nature vibes trees everywhere waterfall you can and also, to the lake yeah like, you can also go to the lake which we didn't go but i kind of wish we would have gone because yeah. i wonder how the lake would have like it took a little bit of a hike we actually um did like half of the hike <laughs> because we were lost we were trying to find the waterfall yeah. we went the wrong freaking way and we were going to there's also the a lot lake. of hanging bridges and if you're afraid of heights good luck because again this is when i realized ricardo was so a listen chicken. Nah, just kidding. so <laughs> the thing was what made us so much worse we crossed all these stop do not blame me what are these things called the hanging bridge the hanging bridges i was scared as shit you know we <laughs> Why went through are you the gonna first blame one me? we went through the first one it was shaking i was like hope my palms are sweaty mouth spaghetti arms legs spaghetti Cross, I was like, okay, I did it. You know what? I'm done. Edith goes, there's another one. Again, there was a total of three times that I shot myself just to realize we were going the wrong way. So and you know what we did? Me? You know what we did? What? Went back again <laughs> on those three hanging bridges. <laughs> and then when we were going the right way, there was also two more. Oh my God. And the waterfall one is like super, super long and it's really nice. Like, don't let Ricardo's like afraid, being afraid. I'm of not going to lie, that waterfall, you overhyped it. It's because there wasn't that much water because it's like my the pee summertime. stream was more than. It's <laughs> that seca. It's seca, la guita. My Pero pee stream was stronger. Stop. It's because it's summertime. During We went during summertime. So if you go like when there's rain and stuff, I'm there will sure obviously rain. be more yeah. water. But it was really nice yeah. overall. It was really nice and good scary. Class. I'm a little bit like I'm scared of heights, but I guess not to the level <laughs> that Ricardo was at. Okay, like I'm scared of heights when it's slow. Which is the dumbest thing oh ever, Ricardo. Let's just skip over this. No, 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 no. We don't have to. We're yapping already. Come on, let's have a debate. Okay. Once and for all, let's settle it. Okay, look. So roller coasters, I'm not scared of. Okay. Even Six when flags, the... roller coasters, man's can get on. He is. He loves them. Don't mind it. But a hanging bridge. But a hanging bridge them. that's slow, him. that hangs, that's wiggly, that's fucking a hundred feet above the floor, that is like every time you step, you could sound a creek. I'm scared of because I feel yeah. like it's gonna fall. Or a slow ass gondola, gondola that takes. Okay, well the camera just shut off. No, the camera just um overheated, so we're just gonna have to wrap it up. And I guess we'll debate about this another time. Yeah. On we'll live or something. Yeah. But let's just wrap it up by talking about our volcano volcano. Volcano experience. Mm -hmm. Um And then next time if you guys really, really wanna know about like in depth like we did with the with the Guatemala trip with Death Valley, we would do another yeah. podcast for Death Valley. But um we'll just finish off with the volcano just because I don't know the camera just shut off and I don't want it to mess up. And it's up. already we've already been yapping for too long. Yeah, we have like an hour and twenty five minutes of footage. So we kind of went all over the place and yeah. I didn't really want it to be this like not like you know organized. I hate when did. things are disorganized, but yeah, it happened and I wish I wouldn't have, but we're here, whatever. Yeah. Um The volcano. The volcano That's how we said we booked it with V hiking tours mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna go back to like our little experiences, we're gonna cut it off at that, but I'm not gonna lie. I um this whole time of booking it, you know, flying there first day, I wasn't scared. Like I was not nervous. Was you were like, never nervous. I was never babe? nervous at one point of like we're gonna hike a volcano. When did I you wasn't. first become nervous? When we got into the front park. <laughs> no way. As soon as we parked. That's actually really good, babe, because no, you know what do you mean? Because it all I guess it all bundled up and I was like, um, we're about to hike a fucking volcano. Yeah, but it's also not good, like for me. Like I stress about things. Yeah, you like, stress for like the last two weeks. Yeah, like since I started like since I booked it, yeah. since I officially booked everything, which was two weeks before that, I was stressing every freaking day. I was nervous about one thing or another. And it doesn't make it any better that you 
bang the shit out of your toe. <gasps> I totally the forgot. The day before we left. I banged my toe the day before. Two days, two days. You guys, up to this day, my toe still hurts. Yeah. I had to hike the, the volcano with a broken toe. I, I don't it know. It was not broken. Okay, it was not broken. But, but it was really, really bad. It was really, really jacked like, up. Guys, yeah. it's been more than a month and my toe still hurts. Yeah. The other day, Ricardo was giving me a massage and he tried to crack it. I totally, it's because oh I always crack gosh. your toes and I totally forgot it was a right pinky toe. It hurts so and bad. And I went down. I wanted to, oh my god. I felt, I felt so bad, babe. I, I I'm so sorry. I knew you didn't mean to do it. But it so was that's just, why you so didn't much flip out. But internally, Ricardo, I, I, so much I flipped out. Anyways, um, you got really scared when you got there. Yeah, so when I get there, I was, and the breakfast it gave us, it was really good, but it was very small. And I was like, this is, this, these carbs are not gonna, are not gonna last me this hike. Yeah, and initially when we had the talk with everyone, um, well, like the main guy and stuff, he told us that it would take four or five or six hours normally for like people, and I thought I'll be somewhere in between, like I'll be at the five mark. Yeah. Or he said four, five, six, maybe seven, maybe Depending eight. Depending like on that. how the people yeah. like, you know. But when I saw videos, everybody would say that it would take them like five. not that long, right? Yeah, like five hours. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'll be with the median group at five hours. Fuck no. <laughs> we thought wrong initially as soon as we started we fell behind the rest of the group about like 30 minutes i don't know how long but we never saw them again no nope. like we never saw them again the beginning is so steep yeah like it took us an hour and there's also no breaks like you're going straight uphill for six well spoiler it took us six hours yeah, if you haven't seen hours. the volcano video which you guys should but like it took us six hours and i know the video was 20 minutes and we condensed like two days down to 20 minutes but you guys six hours just going up and up and, and keep up in mind we have the backpacks i have the camera we had camera equipment it was it was heavy and we both we both had a backpack and we kind of like tried to distribute the weight evenly yeah. because we had like our personal belongings but we also had like a lot of camera equipment and mm -hmm. like batteries portable batteries and stuff to charge our equipment and all that stuff so we tried to divide it evenly but i couldn't do it like at about hour two yeah hour i think two. i lasted about two or three hours it was like ha well, it was half i think it was yeah it was halfway. exactly halfway yeah i was like the guy had told me from the beginning, our guide, he stayed behind with us because there's always guides with the group. But yeah. if you fall behind, there's like once there's, there's a, a slower group. If there's a people in the middle group, there's a guide with them. Yeah. And then the people that like are like advanced, there's a group with them. Yeah. But we were the only slow ones. So it was just <laughs> us with the guy. So it was like a private tour, I guess. Yeah. You normally have to pay extra for this, but we were going with the group. It was just, we just fell yeah. so far behind. Mm -hmm. And so he, from the very beginning, saw me. He mans knew. Like do you, he kept he told asking me, like he was every like, twenty minutes. Yeah, he told me he was like, if you want, I can help you with your backpack. And like I was like stubborn, and I was like, he at first told me he could help me with it, but I knew if I gave it to him, they're gonna I, want some I was, money. No, no, no. I knew if I gave it to him, I wasn't gonna want it back. Want it back. Ah. You know, like I was like, once I get it off of me, I'm like to put it back on me. Yeah. It's gonna be really hard. So my ego and me wanting to take the backpack and you know all that stuff i was like i'm gonna keep it on me but at that point when i, I was like i i like i need help yeah. um i was like you know what take it and he was like you're gonna have to pay me no no at first he took it for like a little bit and then we took a break and he was just gonna leave the backpack there. oh yeah and then you're like can you just i can't take it that's so like, true at this point like if you're gonna want me to take it you're gonna have to pay me yeah, he did say that. And from the very beginning, like when when I gave him the back, you were gonna give him something. I was gonna pay him. Yeah. And um, I like the money wasn't the problem, dude. At that point, seriously, like I don't have money, but I would have given him anything, like like everything. I mean, not anything, everything, because we still needed so much I, more. I just needed help, you know. Yeah. But he was like, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to charge you to charge you. Or no, he didn't say that. He's like, he pretty much said that I need to pay him there in the yeah, moment there and then there, there and then and <clears throat> we gave him like our last of our money i think right we still had like we had a 200, little bit left 200 quetzales yeah. left no but in total we had like 500 quetzales he charged us 300 three she, he said he normally charges 350 but he charges us 300 quetzales mm -hmm. so, and then so we only kept like 250 200 and then on the way back i i also gave the guy my backpack right mm -hmm. because it was really hard for me because i was like falling you did a lot more than halfway though 
You went more, a lot more than half. Yeah, I, w I did a lot more than half. Yeah. Way. Which to this day, guys, like I, I wish so bad that I could have tipped these people so much more. Yeah. But we didn't have cash, and like <laughs> that was the biggest thing for me. Like I was also scared of giving the backpack because I was like, I, I don't know if I can like like give him the money right and so we ended up giving him the last of our money like the the when we were coming back we gave the last guy the last of our money we were like also we didn't know if we needed money when we got to lake at land we needed yeah. at least i think you kept how much baby like 125 it was like, like nothing we bought him an orange juice yeah we bought him an orange juice i i honestly felt so i wish we had more i would have given them like that's what i'm saying to this day like <sighs> on my post on instagram i literally put like if i can get in touch with these people because i don't want to tip the agency i want to tip them because yeah. they were the nice people they were the ones that out of the kindness of their heart were like oh actually you know what the guy that we were coming down he didn't charge me babe he didn't charge, he you, didn't no. charge me but i and i wanted to give him money so bad but we did like we yeah, could yeah. not give him money like if we gave him the rest of our money oh no and we were leaving remember i was like do you know where i can get cash yeah we asked them we i asked, asked him two times yeah. i was like do, can you like help me because it was just us two like do you know where i can get cash and he didn't like help me so uh, in that in bad. that way too like i felt really bad but i was like this i don't know was what to, to be for you yeah. you know so we bought him an orange juice when we were coming down and we bought ourselves an orange juice too and there went the rest of our money until like we had to get more and so the only reason why we didn't give him the rest because we didn't know what was going to happen, like, what was going to happen in the future. Which also, that's another thing I would say, like, make sure to take enough cash. Yeah. Because we were literally gone with all our cash on day three. Yeah. Like, what were we thinking? Yeah. We took out cash two times again after that. Yeah, we took out another 300 and then it was also because we were being we were being very generous the first yeah we were days. fucking giving going ham on tips we were giving tips like a lot that's what we wanted to do but then we realized that we it didn't. was going like too fucking fast yeah you know? no generally i i would like send them money yeah, if yeah. i could and i put it on my post like if i could get in touch with the two guys that like helped us yeah, yeah. but they never freaking they never got responded, back yeah. to me and i'm so sad about that to this day but if i ever see them or am able to get in touch with them like i really want to like bless them because they were so nice to Hell us yeah. like all of them but especially those two and i forgot their names me too i'm so sorry but if i see their faces i know because i saw another youtuber that posted a video and i saw the guy the, same guy. the guy that took us up and i was like oh my gosh that's him mm -hmm. and i was so excited to see him but um when we almost were there they say that about an hour before you get up the volcano it gets flat and it the flat. whole way up I was looking up to this like flatness part. I was like, okay, I only have to get to this flatness part. After this, like I'm good. Like I'll just take a chill from there. Well, I was taking a chill the whole way before that, but I was struggling a lot. Yeah. But I was just looking for. I wasn't even looking forward to getting to the base camp. You're looking forward, I was looking forward, forward to getting to the flat part for yeah. that hour. I was looking forward to it. We were almost there. We were almost there. It was like one very 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 steep hill. Hill right before we got to it. Supposedly we had our last break and then we were gonna go mm -hmm. right the flat part yeah but by this point it had already been five hours and we were hiking <laughs> we're dead we didn't have much like food in our system um and it was the altitude sickness had very like oh got into us like very very much especially i you, think for I me i think for you because you're you said your head felt like it was gonna explode my head felt like it was going to literally like explode like it felt so much pressure yeah. and like even though the like it was not that steep there was like little hills and stuff and in my head in my head it feels like they were oh they were st super steep but i feel like now like looking back the video like they really weren't that much but even like being on a flat flat ground mm -hmm. taking steps it was so hard for me to breathe like i would get out of breath so fast my head was Wholesome and we're already so just so tired just to put it on top of all that yeah altitude. so it's so hard um, but finally we made it up and we had our first explosion right before we got there. Mm -hmm. It was so magical. It was the most best most like best. the thing most that my eyes <laughs> have caught ever. <laughs> like other than the organ like waterfall, like this was crazy. Yeah, it and was then at, when the night came, the fuego, like the lava explode. Oh my if you guys have not seen that video, please go watch it. Yeah, it was, there's no way we can describe it because yeah. It was so beautiful. It was such a nice experience, but the hike up and the hike down yeah. was very hard on us. 
I wasn't that sore the next day surprisingly I genuinely like I just felt like I had had a really long day the day before um but I I didn't yeah the next day I wasn't either it was the one after no like is me, when it killed me me I, I didn't feel like babe. like I was tired but I, I didn't feel like you did. Like, oh I know you God. felt like you know. said that was the most tired you had ever been in your life. And for me, it just felt like I had had a long day before, you know, which I was surprised about. But in the moment, it was so, so hard. Yeah. Um, but wrapping it up, you guys, it was a very, very magical experience for us Guatemala. Mm -hmm. And we really want to continue doing these kinds of videos for us because we grew so much like as individuals but also for you guys because i know a lot of you guys like get to experience it and live it through our eyes but guys go and do it if you guys can if you guys are yeah. are able to and if you have any questions it. literally dm me or comment oh, yeah, it, it's more it's better if you dm me because if you comment on the video sometimes like i, I don't see it or whatever happens but if you dm it i'll most likely see it um but like let me know because I have a lot of tips that I can give you guys and I wish I would have had that when I was going because I was so scared but I will say overall use the airline you like using we like United because yeah. we have a credit card and we get free um, Luggage. check luggages for me and for Ricardo mm -hmm. um, but we use that and then we use booking.com it helps so much yeah. and TikTok is a really good resource as well it is so yeah let's wrap it up, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um, if you, uh, how you just said if you guys want to know any other questions aside if we didn't answer them dm either her or me if if it's something i don't know i'm gonna ask her and i'll respond <laughs> back to you yeah but um thank you guys so much for watching and hearing us yip yap for literally like almost two hours i yeah, think I we love you guys so much and we'll see you guys in another adventure we have a lot more coming yep. up guys and if you guys like these podcasts of us, like, after every adventure, we'll definitely continue doing it. A lot more organized, though. Today's yeah. just not organized. It was all over the place. But so all over the place. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching all the way. If you guys watched if you guys watched all the way to the end, thank you so much. And, well, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.